There are great enemies that have been referenced in the holy war. Poseidon, Hades, and the one stated to be the most brutal, Ares, god of war. In the holy war against Ares, he created chaos spread throughout the entire world by his mighty warriors. These warriors were in four regiments, fire, flame, terror, and calamity. These warriors are known as berserkers. It was Hades who knew the brutal nature of Ares, and he pulled the strings of conflict behind the scenes, greatly increasing the number of souls in the underworld. In battle, there were 58 active saints of bronze, silver, and gold, but it was not enough. They were outnumbered and were slowly defeated by the berserkers. This brutal war only ended due to Athena finally giving permission to use the Libra weapon and easily routing the berserkers ending the holy war of Ares. Now that's the lore more or less and I think it is something worth exploring. Now could you scratch this story into another spin-off series? Sure, but honestly I was thinking I would like to see this story in film. Perhaps looking something like either Overture, Legend of Sanctuary, or the lost canvas but with a bit of a darker tint to it and of course as violent as the original manga the story can begin either with Ares being completely manipulated by Hades or Hades simply putting more oil on the fire. Early on it should show the berserkers rampaging everywhere until Athena steps in sending her warriors but they find they do not have the success they thought they would against them but they still manage to beat them back until one of Ares children appears. It does not matter which one. Now, doing a bit of research in Saint Seiya lore and mythology, you see the two children of Ares as well as two deities. So, each of these entities can be the generals in these armies. Now, I believe this is the perfect time to finally introduce Hercules in the series, who has faced Ares multiple times in mythology and is a follower of Athena. He can be either a Rena Bronze Saint or a Taurus and it is his strength that helps hold off the berserkers and demigods but is not enough to defeat them. I think the fights in this story should be almost like Dragon Ball in the destruction to represent the berserkers as being brutish and power based enemies as well as representing the chaos on the battlefield. In seeing the deaths of her saints and people of earth she must break her rule and give permission to use the Libra weapons. This should be the midsection of the movie and they should push back the army, perhaps even defeating a demigod. Now the weapons are more than just strong, they give power to the wielder. So I want to see the saints using strategy to defeat the berserkers with a combination of various techniques and the use of their weapons. And then Ares shows up. Now doing some research, Ares is basically portrayed as a fool and a bitch. One story has Hercules literally beating the armor off of Ares. That's how this story should end, with Athena giving blood to Hercules, allowing his armor to turn into a god cloth, and he slowly beats the crap out of Ares in a very physical way, shattering his armor in every hit. Now in Saint Seiya lore, the saints easily beat the berserkers when they wield their weapons and drive away Ares who retreats in the underworld never to be heard from again. Unless you count Shu, but that shouldn't be Ares. That should just be an evil spirit going by series lore. Ares runs into the underworld while his army is being completely wiped out. I imagine either Ares decides to simply never come back showing his cowardice or is in prison forever by Hades while he's in a weakened state showing the cunning of Hades and his army. And that's basically my idea, a story that further represents the differences between the gods and their strengths and weaknesses. Ares and his army are very powerful and wild but kinda dumb brutes. Athena and her army are a mix of power and strategy and Hades being the most cunning of all and can manipulate things more than just on the battlefield making him the most dangerous enemy of all. Well that's my idea for Ares to be told in the Saint Seiya story without writing a fan fiction. Well guys tell me what you think. Do you like this format or do you have other ideas? Please let me know and remember to like and subscribe.